Hello, good morning, good evening, good night. Good night for me. I will take the glasses because otherwise there's the reflection of the light and you cannot see me. The problem will be that I cannot see you. So I've been reading about, well, I've been reading many comments that uh, a lot of people were doing according to what we are working these days about remembering things from the past, um, from our childhood. And many of you um, were saying that it is very difficult to, to remember or you don't remember anything from your childhood. And sometimes this is because your mind interprets that um, what you have lived in your childhood is something that is not useful for you today. So, um, uh, and also because maybe it was something bad or, or that can harm you. Uh, so your mind is kind of like says, I don't need to remember this. And maybe you don't have anyone to ask to, um, no one in your family. Maybe you have an age that you don't have any, anyone else from your childhood. So um, don't worry about that. Don't worry about not having who to ask or your mind just don't remembering. I invite you to make like a kind of imagination process in which you picture yourself being in your home in your child childhood home, um, picturing the faces of the people that you lived with, and um, just just walk around like imagining, and your memories will come up. Okay, so it's just about imagination, and allow yourself to to go through those memories. So take your time, but eventually you will remember. So today we have um, the issue that we had to discuss today is the impulse related with the heart. Uh, remember that um, <coughs> today we are in the day of heart related to the physical body and um, inside the month of Virgo, which is related to the concept of I analyze. So we all may agree that uh, the heart is the one that is pulsing constantly for the body to live, mm, it's pulsing everything through the body. So, <clears throat> so the reason why the heart is so important um, is because um, basically what the heart is doing is to, by this, by this beating process that it has, it is like pushing the blood from the veins towards the arter arteria. So the blood is moving around the whole body. Uh, the reason why it does this is to bring to every cell, to every part of the body, all the minerals, the oxygen, the nutrients that you may need. So this is kind of the distribution of the resources through all the body. So the heart is the one that basically is pushing around and distributing all the resources for the body to be alive constantly. Mm -hmm. So basically, the reason why the heart is beating is because of the, uh, of the um, central nervous system. Because the uh, electrical pulses that the nerves um, uh, send to the heart is like uh, electricity that that when the nervous system pushes this electricity towards the muscle of the heart it's like tzz, and suddenly the heart is like pushed inside like tension and then when the electricity stops it expands so contraction and, and expansion is like a, like a constant electricity from the nervous system towards the heart and that's what makes the beating. So um, basically, um, so basically the nervous system that makes the heart beat um, is the parasympathetic 
system, which is the one that takes care of all the parts of your body that you don't need to think about. The, the function of each part of your body, each organ, you don't think about it, but the parasympathetic uh, aspect of the nervous system is working so you could so you could live. So psychologically, we could call the uh, parasympathetic system as the subconscious, which is the system of our self that is like kind of working uh, behind us and we cannot control it. It's like we have all these things working around and it constantly makes us be um, functional, but we cannot handle that. So basically, the parasympathetic system from the nervous, from the central uh, nervous system, is almost the same as talking about psychologically about the subconscious. Basically, um, the parasympathetic system is the one that makes the body, the heart, beat by pulses through the impulses. So impulse means a pulse that goes within that goes from somewhere within. So it starts to push, okay, in order to make the pulses of the body. What I am saying is that the pulse of our heartbeat and every organ is impulsed by the nervous system, the parasympathetic. The pulse of the, um, of the ne neurological system is also impulsed by something else that we would call vibration. And w from where this vibration comes from? From the molecules that vibrate in between each other, okay, to make the gatherings, to make the alignments and create the chemical process. Vibration comes from the resonance of the atomic realm, of the atomic reality. As deep we go, we can recognize that everything is connected through these pulses of resonance. So everything that is outside is pushing that resonance, that sound, this, that vibration towards me, impulsing my pulses. And also what I am vibrating and resounding within is also pulsing towards the outside. What this means is that the physical reality is a constant pulse that connects everything through pulses. We are a constant reaction, impulsing each other. So basically, everything that we think, feel, perceive, do in our life, since we are born in this reality, in the physical reality, basically is a reaction of all this connection from the uh, from all the this vibration that we receive hmm? that we receive constantly from the outside and all this information is being stored in the subconscious um, for sure you have heard that all the information that your mind cannot think about you cannot reason about it all this data that comes from the environment usually goes to the subconscious. We have heard about all this information that is in the subconscious, but what we have to acknowledge is that the subconscious is exactly the parasympathetic system. So remember, everything that is around you is emitting pulses. So these pulses are sending a resonance that comes to me as vibration. That's vibra that vibration impulses the same resonance of vibration within our body that create electrical pulses. So from those pulses, electrical signal is sent through the nervous system. And this is how this uh, electrical pulse discharge on the tissue of the organs that makes it work. So this is why when we say 
I feel this within, is not separate from the outside. Nothing that we believe that is within us and only within ourselves is really from ourselves because everything is connected in a network that is connected through pulses. So basically, this is why the first words that you have heard when you were a child, the first touches, the first, the, the first um, words that you have heard, the colors you have seen, the smells you have knelt, smelled, everything that was around you was shaping your inner aspect, yourself. So this is why not only by genetics, but also by the environment, we can be so similar to the people we have lived with when we were child. And the reason why is this, why it's so important to understand these seven years, these first feelings, is because everything that you are now is the product of everything that you have lived and received in the first seven years of your life that now is encoded in your parasympathetic system and your subconscious. And this is why we have to make it uh, conscious. We have to be aware of this. And pay attention to this. You shouldn't be aware of this to heal it. You should be aware of this just to be conscious about this. The difference is in the intention of how I say the word. Usually when we say, I'm going to heal my history, the reason why I want to heal it is because I want to set myself free from history. Be sincere with yourself, isn't it? Isn't it like that? So suddenly you say, I will make a, a therapy of healing so I can set myself free from all these traumas from childhood. So, um, so suddenly you go to all these therapies and you do all the healing process and suddenly, a few years later, I say to you, hey, what have you done when you were a child? And we work on this and suddenly all crying and, <laughs> and but why I'm feeling this? Because if I did the healing before, hmm. <laughs> And the reason is because to heal is not to be aware of this. Let's do a comparison of, of the difference. Let's picture this, um, this idea. For example, you just go with your, with your bicycle. You are willing to learn how to ride a bicycle. So you are a, a kid and, and you take your bicycle and you just want to go. And when you make the first movements, you fall down to the floor and you get hurt. When you get hurt, somebody comes and says, I will make a cure, okay, a cure. This is to put um, alcohol to disinfect and then you put some, um, how to say, some, I don't know the words for this, uh, some stuff, <laughs> let's say stuff uh, in the wound. So you could so you could be protected from the infections. Uh, that's what we call cure to cure something. Okay, and then oh bandages there. Thank you. So you put some bandages, and that's what you call uh, uh, to be cured. But then you have a long process, like kind of a month, for the healing process. Okay, so you have to heal. Okay. So healing takes long time. When you have healed, once you have healed, mm, what do you do? You never ride a bicycle anymore? No. You take your bicycle and start again. 
and maybe you will fall down again, but doesn't matter. Each time will get better. So you go and you go, and suddenly you accomplish to get the balance and you can go. But why have you learned how to ride the bicycle? You have learned because not only you found the balance, but also because you made a lot of mistakes and you fell down many times. The next step would be that now I have a goal to go. Now I know how to go in bicycle, how to ride it. So I just put a goal and a destiny and then I go with the bicycle. I just interpret the bicycle as something to move, okay? But my sympathetic system of the nervous system, okay? The sympathetic system says, you know what to do. Take your, take your bicycle, which is a tool, and just go. You don't think anymore about what happened 20 years ago when you fell down. You just go. Your sympathetic system is thinking about to just go ahead. But there is another system, the parasympathetic system. And that parasympathetic system is the one thinking constantly when you took your bicycle, is thinking, I'm going to fall down, I'm going to fall down. If something happens, uh, I'm going to get hurt, as I did so many times. So he, the, sympathetic, the parasympathetic system remembers everything that happens to you in your life, remembers everything, when, what happened, where you have the wound, how you healed it. So it says to the monological system, take care, be aware because maybe something could happen, as happened to us before. So the sympathetic system is just thinking about the future and I'm going there. But the parasympathetic system is just thinking about the past, is thinking about if something happens, could, ha could happen the same that happens to us 25 years ago. So we have to be aware of this. The reason why healing is not how you accomplish the whole process is because the process of healing was just for that wound. But you heal the wound. The process ended, so, but the information of everything that happened because of the wound is in the subconscious, in the parasympathetic system. All the information of everything that happened is still with you, because that what happened in, the, in this system helps you to keep going, to keep moving. So, when we do healing process in our life, what we do is to go to this wound here that I did with the bicycle. Imagine that some years ahead, after what happened, some, some many years of the healing, someone, someone says to you, hey, let's go to, go to, let's go to ride bicycle. Let's go to ride bicycle. And and that other person shows to you a video of someone falling down from a bicycle. And suddenly you say, that happened to me too. That's the parasympathetic system. So in that moment is when we say, why I'm feeling this if I have healed that? If I, if I did the healing process, why I'm feeling the same? And I feel it because that information is still in me. Hmm? is still here with me, in my body, in the parasympathetic system. So this is why we have to make healing process. All the healings that you may do, they are useful. Because we always have some wounds that they need to be healed. The healing process helps us to, to, to heal many wounds, but not necessarily makes us aware, makes us conscious about why it happened, why we fell down from bicycle. So this is why if healing is to try to set you free from the trauma, to be aware and to conscious, to be conscious about why it happened, is to understand what is the use of the, the use for that today. Because that thing may be what I am. The understanding would be this. 
that to heal is the process of going back and to heal the wound because maybe I still feel the pain from that fall, falling down, but to be aware and to make conscious about this is to understand that I fell down in the past because I was trying to, uh, to ride the bicycle. So now I know how to ride a bicycle because of that. That's to make a trauma conscious, useful. So basically, everything that we have lived in that first seven years of our lives are those things that made us be who we are now. So we need to understand. We need to understand. So the goal is not to, to set myself free from the past. It's to give to the past a use, a purpose. This is why we are going to the past. The reason why we are going to the childhood is because our childhood was the impulse for our heartbeat today. So this is why the question for today is, what is that I wanted to be when I become a grown up? Besides all the things that may happen to us in the past, there is one key impulse that is the most important of all. That is what our child pushed for us in the future. So the question would be, are we now what we were expecting to be as a child? I am the pulse of the impulse of my inner child. So that's the, the issue for today. So this is why we have to go back to the past and to think about everything that we have lived in the past to understand where we are now. By going into the past, we can see if we have been following that impulse or we have been lost from that impulse. I think there was nothing else to say about this. So also what I wrote in the blog uh, through my own experience is how from our childhood, everything that we have lived and learned and experienced from the outside, maybe by reading, by watching the TV, by someone uh, that was like uh, our um, childhood hero or heroine or, or teacher, master or whatever. Um, as a child, maybe has they, they had shaped what we decided for us to be in the future. So also, um, also one of the things is that by acknowledging that dream that our child has had in the past helps us to understand um, where we are, if we had accomplished or not, what we wanted to become. And if we didn't, what we have to do is to try to take our inner child again outside and try to do as much as we can in order to make it feel, to make it, uh, to try to do what, what we stopped doing to be happy as a child, because we have a long life ahead still. So we need to recreate that dream from the child ahead. So basically we have to become ourselves an impulse for a new pulse in the future. Set that. Let's go to the information for today. The vibration of today is C. The statement for today is I am agreed of beatings. So the code for today is the soul pattern B, B. In every life, the achievements are quantitative in the form of matter, material assets, houses, resources, wealth, whatever they are, that we count those things that we count on, that we count on 
to live our simple material lives are incarnated in the concept of home, of the physical things that we have achieved with our actions. So our body as a result. So let's go to that. As always, we start by stretching the body, caressing the body and yawning. Relax the body softly. I let the weight of my shoulders fall down and the whole body. Take a deep breath and focus only on your breathing. As I breathe, I allow myself to feel the oxygen coming through my nose, towards my lungs, heart, blood, organs and muscles. Take a deep breath and dive deep within your body, seeking for the most beautiful cell that calls your attention and go to it. Until you feel it in front of you, very big as a sphere. Take a deep breath and dive within the mother cell, feeling your body floating in the cytoplasm and with your hands touch the chromosomes within and un untangle chromosomes until you feel the chain of DNA curling around your fingers, acknowledging that all of that are the codes that makes you be who you are. Become aware that now you are inside of an egg in the uterus of your mother and over your head you can feel the I am coming to you as a spiral in the shape of an spermatozoid.
perceive how the I am, the spermatozoid, touches the sphere, the egg where you are, changing the polarity of the cell and lightening as a sun. Take a deep breath and perceive the spiral of the I am coming inside the cell through your crown, third eye, throat, heart, and plexus. And from there, it sets free all the genetical material towards the sacrum root knees and feet I feel the energy of the I am within. I feel how the cell starts to divide. It splits in two. One where I find myself as the I and the other one in front, the am. In this process of meiosis, mitosis, I can say, I am. Take a deep breath and recognize that these two cells start to divide in four, eight, sixteen, and so on until I perceive that in its expansion starts to create the organs that shape my body. <clears throat> I perceive how these cells starts to create my heart, the brain, stomach, intestines, liver, pancreas, lungs, thymus, thyroid, and each one of the organs of myself. And by the muscles and bones, all the structure of my body. I start to perceive my feet, my legs, hands, arms, and my head. And I start to expand this information of the impulses through all my body by the sound. I 
and keep pronouncing it as I perceive the formation of all my physical body. And with this singing, I impulse myself to seek for light outside my mother. As I keep pronouncing it, singing, I perceive the light from the exterior in my crown and recognize that now comes the hardest part, your shoulders and chest and back must go out. This is the painful part and now All the traumas, all the pain that you have lived, everything now will become useful, everything worth it. Take a deep breath. Feel the light shining on your shoulders, chest and back as you expand yourself taking a very deep breathing. Eleva tu pecho, rise your chest y reconoce, todo ha valido la pena, recognize everything, worth it. I am a grid of pulses, I am a grid of pulses. I am a grid of pulses. <clears throat> take a deep breath and take your hands to your heart to feel those pulses. I feel in this pulse and heartbeat the impulse of my inner child. I open myself to perceive my heartbeat and each one of the pulses as if I am a child again. And I set my intention to expand a new breed of pulses from my heart. I am the grid of pulses. <clears throat> Take a deep breath and I start to bring this consciousness through my body, caressing, stretching, and yawning. <clears throat> and I come back here and now, opening my eyes. <sighs> so, as always, drink a lot of water rest as much as you can and see you tomorrow at the same time 
for the plexus. Bye.